Controversy over Senate expenses is topping the agenda on Parliament Hill. Stephen Harper is back in Ottawa after his trip to South America last week, and the opposition is on the attack in the House of Commons. When will the Prime Minister take responsibility, show accountability, and finally start answering questions? Yeah, yeah. Toronto's embattled mayor, Rob Ford, lost two staffers today with the resignation of his press secretary and deputy press secretary. Both say they left on principle. An Ontario man is going public about his brand new BMW. The vehicle's not safe, it's not safe for me, it's not safe to be on the road. He says the car's transmission can become unlocked from the park position and roll away with no one in it. He caught the runaway vehicle on his home surveillance camera. But when he took it to get inspected, BMW said it found nothing wrong. Kathy Tomlinson will have the full story tonight on The National. European Union foreign ministers are in Brussels debating whether or not to lift an arms embargo against Syria. Britain and France want to loosen sanctions to allow weapons shipments to the rebels. But several other European countries worry that weapons could end up in the wrong hands. In Baghdad today, a wave of car bombings killed at least 57 people. The explosions went off in Shiite districts of the capital. The attacks come amid growing political and sectarian tensions in Iraq. It's estimated that more than 400 Iraqis have died in violence this month.